Hello and welcome. I am Civilian and we are back in Sunless Sea, in the glorious world of Sunless Sea. Uh, it's it's a wonderful world. I am fairly enamored with it myself. Ki kind of loving it. Uh, please, no spoilers, can I just say? Uh, because, you know, I, I, I think I understand that it's frustrating when uh, you're watching someone play a game and they're doing it wrong and you just want them to not be doing it wrong and you want them to know the things that you know and uh, I feel that especially for some games but I think that you know for this game especially uh, we're just repairing our hull by the way for this game especially uh, it's it's really it, it, it's something that I very much want to experience I want to, to learn things about this game by just going out there and I'm sorry if I make, you know, suboptimal decisions and so on and so forth. And I would also think maybe don't spoil it just as a courtesy to the the viewers who are experiencing this game for the first time through these videos. If they exist. I don't know if they do. But if you do, then uh, you probably would like to do that way. I like how the lights are, are strung out here. This is very, very convenient for us to get over to Hunter's Keep. Just uh, stay in the light and beautiful. We'll stop off here. Uh, Terra. Our Terra is not too bad. We probably don't need to talk to the Terra Reducing Sister. And we are going to head east today. We're going to head east uh, towards those giant. Uh, was it salt? Was it basalt? Was it something? Those giant statues facing each other we found uh, where we paid a deposit and did a bit of a trip. Uh, we will recon the island, and then we will deliver news in exchange for lunch with the sisters. Let's go, sisters. Let's go for for Phoebe. Yes, and it's the same the state the same story as last time. We have gained a memory of distant shores. Um, we keep being acquainted with the sisters, but things keep changing. I don't I don't know. We've lost five Terra though, so that's pretty good. And uh, we've got Storm's attention quality is now exclamation mark so that's good uh let's leave <laughs> we shall leave out into the darkness uh but yes so today we are heading back towards this zeal port uh near the salt lines yes they were salt lines um now i'm not trying to be super farmy with this firstly i don't think this is the kind of game that would allow me to just sit and farm some kind of safe route uh to get money but I kind of partially I want to see if I can uh, because if I can then well the temptation will be there to do it so that we can get ourselves a nice ship I do want this run to last as long as possible before I die for obvious reasons I want to learn things first but not die second um, we are close to the salt lines I should hope so because that is our goal there is a singular light here, which we will swing towards, and then we're going to head southish again, just so that we don't hit that ship that we were kind of scared of hitting before. And by hit, I don't mean physically hit. There was a really tough ship that tried to fight us. Oh, but on the other hand, there's a giant crab here. So I guess the, the trade-off for running this profitable route is the fact that it's very dangerous. But actually, that's really not far, especially if we didn't make the diversion to the, the Hunter's Lodge. It would really not be far. But yes, the zeal port. So let's see if we can do that contract again. Um, just for for academic purposes, I suppose. Because if we can, uh, this appears... If I head straight there, it will be a fairly speedy and safe route. And one that we can very much repeat. So let's go to the salt lines. We will... Oh, we can repeat it. Okay. Um, well, first I'll compile a port report. And then something about salts, right? Uh, lost faces are sacred to salt, they say. Well, this is very much a salt place. We have salt's attention. Uh, let's maybe do salt's rights. Into the Z. Dive from the Sphinx's face down. A clean arc into the Z's chilly darkness. Float there in the quiet until your lungs are bursting, until light blooms behind your eyes. Rise gasping to the prickle of false stars, the shocked faces of your crew. You've brought something with you. And that's something is an extraordinary implication. But we've also lost Salt's attention. But I'm sure we can get it back by talking to the sisters, right? Let's carry Sphinx Stone to London. Uh, I'm going to do that again. Because, you know, 
We can. It's a, it's a short trip. It's a safe trip. We should get our fuel covered for it, even, uh, in exchange for the port reports. And it should be fairly speedy. If I stop diverting up to Hunter's Lodge, which is a shame. I kind of want to keep going to London Hunter's Lodge because I want to figure out what's going on with those with those sisters. But a skilled crewman, this is the Zayla who came begging to you for a bath. He's done good work, this one. But he's keeping a little shrine to salt, the nameless god of the horizon at the back of the hold. Uh yes. We love we love the gods. Yes, perfect. Uh a soft breeze comes out of the east, the salt's direction. So east is Salt's direction. Well, that's the way we're headed, so I'm going to assume that Salt's direction is good. That salty breeze could also be from the salt lines that are directly to our east, though. I'm not going to dismiss that as a possibility. Um, but yeah, this is uh, an extremely profitable route for us to run. And I don't know if I'm going to fully farm it. If I do properly farm it, I'm kind of tempted to just farm this. Classic, back and forth and back and forth, make all the money and get us a sweet ship. But, um, I don't know, I don't know if I want to do that. If I do do that, it might have to be off camera. We'll do this, this once more. We'll just bop, bop, bop across. And across the abyss. And then we'll stop. But I think we need to make progress at some point. But I also feel, judging by the, the things we have encountered just a short journey east, there was that giant crab, there was that really tough ship, I do feel like we need to be better equipped. So I think what I'm going to say is we might do maybe one or two more trips. We make a profit of 300 on each trip. Uh, if we save up a bit, we should be able to get ourselves... Now, a better ship would be extremely expensive, but we could try and save up and maybe say we'll do enough trips to get ourselves a nice gun or something like that, which will help us. Uh, we'll collect messages from the harbour master. Uh... Uh, yes. Are there messages for me? What's this? Let's see. Uh, something has changed in the, in the Neath. Someone wants to sign on. That's all for now. You have one of this, another day, a free evening. Rose Market Bustles, who will be there today? Well, there is plenty to do here. Let's go first to the Rose's Wharf, because that sounds fascinating. The Rose Market caters to collectors and eccentrics, anyone with exotic tastes and the gumption to harass the captains. According to the arcane, archaic rules of the market, you can only make one trade per visit. Choose wisely. Uh, let's see. So we can, we can pass one day using our free evening, so let's do that. Because we didn't want to do... Yeah, there's... There's, oh, the Tattooed Courier. I've met this person in Fallen London. And by met, I think I mean I, like, aggressively stalked, made sketches of the tattoos, kind of seduced, and then betrayed. Uh, but that's close. Consider a specialist surgeon. Yes, I would very much like to consider 30 echoes. You're in. Welcome aboard. Uh, I might talk to her quickly. Let's see. Officers. You are definitely going to be our surgeon. We'll speak to you as well. Would you like to dine with me? It will cost... It will cost a thing. Uh, let's see. She works with two scalpels at a time, or with a scalpel and a timed instrument. Pinning open... And a tinned? Timed? Pinning open the flesh she's working on. Her operations are brisk and yield very little blood. Let's have dinner together. Precise size bites, I am sure. Um, maybe she missed calling as a chef. You may say that knife work runs in the family. I like her. Let's uh, proposition her. No caresses. Oh my. Well. Uh, we have begun an affair with the uh, uh, cladery air. We have fraternized with one of our officers. What? Never. Yes, we have. Uh, anyway, that's enough of that business. London, let's deliver the Sphinx Stone. And we get 500 Echoes. Delicious. So yes, I think we save up to get like maybe one better tier of stuff. Yes. That sounds about right. So I think we, we save up. We try and get one better... What have we currently got on our ship? Uh, hold. We've got a nice gun. Um, we have nothing in our bridge or auxiliary. It might be worth uh, trying to save up 
to get uh, one of these next class, I think just the next class up. Uh, it would probably be more efficient to jump straight to like uh, a higher tier class. And actually, on that note, maybe 3,000 3, echoes could be viable. Um, but if I do do that, I'll tell you what, I'm, I might farm to try and get this. I will do it between this episode and the next episode. In the meantime, today we are just going to head east. Uh, and that is straight east. Ah, I forgot to go to our lodgings. Hold on, let's read the papers. Delightful. And we'll stop by the sisters because we have Tara and we should reduce that Tara. Oh, I've clicked on something. Let's go. Lights off, speed up, and we roll in. And no, wait, no, wait, no. I've forgotten something. I've forgotten something. Go back, go back, go back. I forgot to hand in my uh, port reports. There's only two, but it'll be useful. Going backwards is very inefficient. Noted. Uh, to the Admiral, we shall uh, submit port reports and hunt his key, get fuel, salt lions, and we get. Uh, fuel and some echoes, and that's good. There we go. Might as well get all the port reports because I'll tell you what, I think we we make sort of a net gain of fuel on that little trip. So yeah, I think I'll do that between episodes. I might farm up. I'm going to get to, I think the, the 3,000 is a good price bracket. Um, we will need to save up 3,000 echoes, which is not completely out of the realm of possibility. That, of course precludes the idea that we don't, that's as long as we don't die before this episode ends. And also that I don't die just by something random, going back and forth and making that trip. Uh, we shall see, we shall see. I will uh, keep you posted. <laughs> um, but yes, if, if suddenly next episode I'm like, well, I died, then I'm sorry. I'll try and smash record if anything dramatic happens. Uh, anyway, Hunter's Keep, hello. Oh, it's swathed in darkness. Go up to the house. No one answers, but the door is unlocked. The hall is dark, the parlour too. There are signs of disturbance here and there. A smashed cup, an overturned piano stool, scratches on the walls. There are sounds from downstairs, from the kitchen. You push open the door cautiously. Something clings to the ceiling. Something turns yellow eyes to you and hisses. Something has changed. The thing in the kitchen. The yellow-eyed maid clings to the ceiling like a lizard, fierce and wiry in her ragged uniform. She hisses furiously. When you advance a step, she scurries away to the far end of the room, still on the ceiling, weeping. Uh, let's just speak to Longshanks real quick. Can I increase my iron? No. Cool. Thought I'd check. Let's try, we have a slightly higher chance at catching her with a net. Let's try. We failed. She runs around the ceiling like a squirrel, drops to hiss and claw at one of your zailers, retreats into the scullery, slithers through the window there, and returns through the chimney, black with soot. You glare at each other, panting. We're going to try that again. We're going to keep raising our Tara, I know, I know, but we need to try. So, hauled down. It's like trying to get a jaguar out of a tree. Three of our crew are badly bitten, but at last we restrain her and she lies on the table, glaring and growling. What now? You try to question her. Those poor zailers, she spits. You realise that in all the time you spent at Hunter's Keep, she had never spoken. The poor z zailers. I didn't come here for this. Damn them to the well. Uh, with a serpentine wriggle, she's free of the net. She returns to the ceiling in one inhuman leap. The silent house. Uh, let's maybe search the house. We we just keep gaining terror. We're gonna keep searching the house till I succeed. Hunters keep alight. Later you are certain that the fire began in the turret behind the house, but it spreads quickly. Zayla's tumble choking from the door as the smoke billows out. The yellow-eyed maid leaps from a window and streaks across the lawn on all fours. Watch, it's all we can do. What happened to the youngest sister? Oh no! Could we have saved her if I sucked less? The death of Hunter's Keep. Flames lick about the gables. The spine of the house breaks with a roar as the roof falls in. Sparks fly up towards the false stars so far above. The death of the house takes hours, but it is total. 
Only a cindered shell remains. Well, I've gained a lot of terror uh, and a port report. Hunters keep in ruins. Uh, fungus and cavern vines are already reclaiming the masonry. No one has come to reclaim Hunter's Keep despite its proximity to London. The place has an eerie reputation. It's difficult to see why today. The place is as peaceful as a folly in a park. The air is still. Far across the water, the lights of London glow. Look in on the ruins. Has anything changed? No! Sisters! Could I have saved them? Could I have saved them if I'd rushed through the house? Well, I'm shook. Let's keep going, I guess. Um, lost in a fire. Do you think we could have done more? What happened? Could we have found them if we'd searched the house? Could we have saved? Because it says Phoebe was lost in a fire. Could we have, have saved her? I don't know. I don't know. I'm quite shocked. Um, well, we're gonna head. We're gonna head east. We're gonna swing north of the salt lines this time. I should think. Oh, and we're gonna see what happens. We are close to the salt. The salt lions. Yes, salt lions. I'm glad. I was forgetting. I was forgetting what they were, and uh, then it was revealed to me. Um, yes. I'm quite shocked. I'm gonna go talk to talk to this this uh, uh, cladery hair ha hair cladery air. Uh, let's get Longshanks to upgrade our iron because that might have helped in the last situation. Um, cool. Now we should keep heading east. We are swinging north this time, Ashley. We're gonna swing south because we're gonna pick up a port report because report reports are useful. And I'm gonna turn on our lights for a little bit because we got fuel, but we ain't, we're quite terrified after that whole situation. I like went there expecting to reduce our terror. That was not what happened. Um, the sisters and there was Ayla's and I, I'm so curious about this game. Oh my goodness, the urge is to just Google it, but no. I want to find out. So, uh, quick port report. Uh, quick unmakers visit. Losing some terror. Anyway, that's this place done. Do you have any shops? No. No. Do we have anything? No. Except the death of the sisters. Uh, so let's keep heading east. <laughs> Launch and lights kill the lights i know we have a decent chunk of terror but i still feel like it's manageable i assume we only get problems when it's capped out but that may not it it might just we might just get problems uh when it just gets moderate so we'll find out together i'm gonna talk to the ferret and gain a terror thanks ferret oh don't mind me Now there's, I see a light. Could be a ship. It is not a ship. It is some manner of lighthouse. I'm gonna skirt the fog a little bit, or not. There's quite a lot of fog. I'm gonna head for this patch of light in that case, because light makes us less terrified, and that's a good thing. Here the wilders, wilder airs mingle with the airs of the nearer reaches. Demolk's, Demo's gate, famed for his oh, oh, yes, a fog bank. Uh, how did his bones come below? I have no idea, and I don't actually know the thing that you're referring to. But there's a settlement here, so we are definitely stopping in at this port. So we've sailed quite a way through the nothingness and the void, and that scares me. Ah, the Iron and Misery Co. Funging Station. I believe this is where we were supposed to go. Yes, yes. Uh, it has a fungal operation here, felling giant shrooms, harvesting things. Up puffs the affable factor. Affable. The affable factor. 
Oh, hello, Captain. Thank God for visitors. We go quite mad out here otherwise. Ah, quite mad. How can we be of assistance? Ooh. He's, he's watching the air that we have quite closely. Um, well, let's start with a pot pot. Cool. Uh, actually, let me check. What's our, our current objective? Uh, objective. We've done that. Uh, we did that. Empire of Hands. Right. What was it? Where was it that you wanted to go? Khan's Shadow. Why have I heard of this place? I don't know. Let's find out this thing. The tomb colonist draws you a little way away from the cladery air. Don't tell her you met me, he says in a hoarse rasp. Her mother cut my voice. Hoped to fix it so I wouldn't be able to look for my daughter. So I wouldn't want to. He wheezes. Didn't work. Operations never completely effective. Need to know my daughter's well. Happy. Finding enough patients. Getting enough to eat and so forth. Uh, oh, he's, he's a, we found a dad. Um, yeah, I think we should tell her. Tell her about meeting her father. Uh, we we did that, we did that. Um, well, let's have tea with the factor. Ah, oh, we sit on the veranda of the factor's house, looking out over the fungal jungle. Oh, fungal jungle. Uh, let's have a little skim. Odd stories about the ice and roses of Irem, the monstrosities of the Sea of Lilies, and a little restaurant in Vendabite where he enjoyed a most extraordinary seafood. Uh, he also has a load of stuff cast aboard our ships. Uh, we lost some taro, we gained some supplies, and we've been told of an exceptionally fine restaurant in Vendabite. Well then. Uh, how's our fuel doing? How's our supplies? Not fantastic, but I think... We should continue pressing east and possibly try not to buy things here because it seems to be rather expensive. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll tell you what, we're going to start heading back. And the reason for that is because this episode is going to be approaching its end soon. And uh, as such... I want to put myself in a position to do that farming to get that nicer ship that I'm after. Uh, which I think will be a good thing, fundamentally. Uh, it will be good for us. We'll probably get our terror up a little bit, but it's it's kind of escalating actually. And we should definitely see if we can pick up some tomb colonists in London and make another trip north. Because I would quite like to check out their little restaurant. And uh, taking tomb colonists seems like an efficient way to make that trip. You know? Moody's Light. That would be the lighthouse then, I assume. Uh, I also assume it's unmanned because I can't dock there. A baked breeze rises uh, the improbable scent of stone out of some distant desert. We are close to the salt lines. And so it is at the salt lines that we are going to end it for today. I have been Civilian. This has been Sunless Sea. I'm going to do a little bit of back and forthing, just taking, taking the stuff to the places. Um, because it's profitable and I would like a nice ship. So I have been Civilian and I will see you next time.